Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my video First of all, I want to introduce myself My name is Ali Prima Badrian And I am an English literature student In Universitas Islam 45 Bekasi Here I am, I want to represent the material from public speaking and presentation skills That is analyzing an audience So, there will be three materials The first is listening and the second is analyzing your audience and the last is adapting to your audience as you speak listening overcoming barriers to effective listening listening requires you to do all of the following such as information overload personal concern outside distractions prejudice and difference between speech rate and thought rate the first is information overload as a public speaker, you can keep your audience from turning out by delivering a message that is clear and easy to understand, using interesting and a vivid supporting material, building redundancy into your message so that if a listener miss an idea the first time you present it, perhaps they will walk, they will catch it during your concluding remarks. The second is personal concern. As a listener, recognize when your own agenda keeps you from listening and then force yourself to focus on the speaker's message Out next outside distractions as a listener do your best to control the listening situations try to minimize outside distractions prejudice as a listener guard against becoming so critical of a message that you don't listen to it or doing the opposite becoming so impressed that you decide to quickly that the speaker is trustworthy and the last is difference between speech rate and thought rate use the timing like created by the difference between speech rate and thought rate to summarize what the speaker is saying and the second is how to become a better listener good listener focus on the speaker's message not on delivery style listen with your eyes as well as your ears if you have trouble understanding a speaker's word, get it close enough so that you can see the speaker's mouth and then stay on task. If you get off task and find that you're not doing these things, periodically remind yourself why the message can be helpful or important to you. And then the third next is monitor your emotional reactions to a message. Don't let the speaker language close down your mind. Be a selfish listener, find ways to benefit from the information you are listening to, and try to connect it with your own experience and needs. Listen for major ideas, try to mentally summarize the major idea that specific facts support, and identify your listening goals, such as listen for pleasure, to empathize, listen to evaluate, and listen for information. And then practice listening. Skills develop as you practice listening to speeches, music, and programs with demanding content. And next, understand your listening style. Relation-oriented listener, task, analytical, and critical-oriented listeners. And the last is become an active listener. Resort, disorganize, rephrase, or summarize. Repeat key points you want to remember. And then look for information handles. And then the last is listen ethically. So in listen ethically, communicate your expectation and feedback. Know what information and ideas you want to get out of the communication transactions. And then expect a coherent, organized, and competently delivered presentations. And then communicate your objectives. And if a question and answer period follows the speech, ask any question you still have about the speaker's topic or point of view. And the second is demonstrate sensitivity to and a tolerance of differences. So be attentive and courteous. Remember that different cultures have a different style of speaking. Try to understand the needs, goals, and interests. And the third is improve listening and critical thinking skills. Critical thinking is a mental process of making judgment about the conclusions presented in what you see, hear, and read. And separate facts from inferences. Facts are information that has been proven true by direct observations. 
An inference is a conclusion based on a partial information or an evaluation that has not been directly observed. And uh, next is material analyze and evaluate speeches. The first is understand criteria for evaluating speeches. The message should be effective to be effective and effective to be ethical. And then the second is identify and analyze rhetorical strategies. So rhetorical strategies are methods and techniques that speakers employ to achieve their speaking goals. And then give feedbacks to others, such as be descriptive, specific, positive, constructive, sensitive, and realistic. Give feedback also to yourself. Look for and reinforce your skills and speaking abilities. Evaluate your effectiveness based on your specific speaking situation and audience. And identify one or two areas for improvement. And the second chapter is analyzing your audience. So gather information about your audience. Gather information informally and formally. And informally, observe your audience informally and ask questions of a people who know something about the audience you will be addressing. And then formally is if time and resources permit, you may want to conduct a more formal survey of your listener. Analyze audience information. Use the result of your audience analysis to tailor your message so that listener will understand it and you will achieve your speaking goals. And demographic audience analysis. Demographic information can help you develop a clear and effective message by providing clues about your listeners. Psychological audience analysis. Analyze attitude towards your topic and towards you, the speaker. Situational audience analysis. Situational audience analysis includes a consideration of the time and place of your speech, the size of your audience, and the speaking occasions. Analyze your audience after you speak is just nonverbal responses, verbal, survey, and behavioral responses. Read nonverbal cues. I can take facial expressions, movement, nonverbal responsive and verbal responsiveness. Respond to nonverbal cues. If your audience seems inattentive or bored, tell a story, use an example to which the audience can relate, remind your listener why your message should be interest to them, and then eliminate some abstract facts and statistics, use appropriate humor, make a direct difference, reference to the audience, Invite the audience to participate by asking questions, ask for a direct response, and speed up the pace of your delivery or pose for dramatic effect. Respond to nonverbal cues. If your audience seems to be disagreeing with your message, provide additional data and evidence to support your point. Remind your listeners of your credibility. Rely less on the stories and more on facts to present your case. If you don't have and if you don't have the answer and data you need, tell listeners you will provide more information later. Customize your message to your audience. Appropriately, use the audience members' name to relate information to specific people. Refer to the town, city, or community where you are speaking. Refer to a significant event that happened on the data of your speech. Refer to recent or local news event. Refer to a group or organizations. Find the ways to apply facts, statistics, and examples to the people in your audience. Adapt to diverse listeners. Individualistic or collectivistic. High or low context. High or low need for certainty high or low power people, and long-term or short-term time orientations. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you.